What's up guys, my name is Moses and welcome to my channel. So I have a um, footage booster or DC to DC converter project today and this is a basic schematic. It is, it is based on a first disclaimer I see. So it is configured to operate at the I think about 70 kilohertz. So it is a basic DC to DC boost converter circuit. So when pin 3 is high, the MOSFET is on and it allows current to flow from the power supply through the inductor to ground for a brief moment and the magnetic field in the inductor will build up. When the MOSFET is low, now the parallel across the inductor terminals diverse and it is in series with the power supply and this forces this down to be found by us and it changes this capacitor. Yeah, the, and th this is the minimum load uh, system and it's also used to discharge the capacitor once the power supply is switched off. So depending on the, the higher the duty cycle or the ratio of the time when the MOSFET is on to that when it's off, uh, the voltage is valid. The higher the duty cycle, the higher the output voltage. So this LED is just from this cycle indication. I think the last is simple and self externally. Okay, so this diode is used is the one that makes the passive modulation possible. So the capacitor will change through the R1 and through the out to the potentiometer through the middle ports through and then through the diode and what it will discharge through the potentiometer. All the way to P7. So by varying the position of this neutral terminal of the potentiometer, the duty cycle can be varied. So depending on the value of the R1, the minimum duty cycle is set, and the maximum duty cycle is very close to 100, for which it's detected at 100. So this is my boost converter circuit. For the power supply, I'm using these lithium primer batteries. They are charged up to 3.7 volts each, but configuring them in a series configuration. For my circuit, it's based on a 55 timer. And it's configured to generate a P PWM signal or pass with moderation. The MOSFET I'm using an IRF. 740, I believe it's written for about 7 amperes and 500 volts, so it should work well. Here's my training inductor, I ripped off a computer, power supply, my high voltage capacitor, my, I think it's around 82 kilo ohms, 2 watt resistor, a simple LED for indication, and here's the multimeter. So I'll begin by testing the battery voltage. I'll connect the battery. And as you can see, here the, the voltage The voltage is 8.2 volts. Yeah, there. Yes, my. The voltage is 8.2 volts for the input. And so, let's see the output voltage from the stepper converter. So, I forgot to mention that the high frequency diode I'm missing is an it's a UF4007 diode. I believe it's a downside one arm, written for thousand volts and one arm. So as you can see, immediately <laughs> at, the, at the lowest duty cycle, the voltage is, the output, the output voltage is 48 volts. But I have to mention that although <laughs> I don't have a relatively high wattage load, a DC load for this, for testing, but I'm able to crank it up to around 270 volts. 
it is not significant to us. So I believe we should be able to power light DC rods at around a hundred and something volts. I build this basically for high voltage experiments and as a high voltage power supply because as you all know it's dangerous dealing with rectified mains so this is a very good substitute. So I'll count it up so we can take this trimmer so let's see what the voltage will be. You can see the voltage is grinding. So it's at 20 volts, 100 volts, 150 volts, 200 volts, 20 volts, so this is the maximum I can get 50 volts to 60 volts, 70 volts to 80 volts. Yeah, that's about that. Wow, now it's at 300 volts. So impressive. Yeah, 70 volts. Yeah. It reached a point that where no matter how much we increase the new cycle, the voltage just remains the same or such for us. So I think I can see the maximum volts is around 300 volts, as you can see. Because the voltage that I'm using the above volt scale, and the voltage is 302 volts. Not so bad. <laughs> Definitely, I can smell my road resistor <laughs> overheating yeah so probably i should use a favorite road system but the thing is this setup works and i built this specifically because i'm building a sick mode for a surprise instead of testing it directly using mains i can test it using this boost converter and once it works now i can be confident to plug it to the main supply I will show you the circuit and I will leave it in the description. It's a simple circuit and I think I will develop a printer circuit board for this because I'm pretty sure I'm going to be needing a high voltage DC power supply for many of my projects. So I will develop a piece today and update and give an update once I've done so. Let me count it up again once more. Yes, that's the 300 and 300 volts. So, anyway, when you apply a, a load, I'm pretty sure it can deliver 100 volts comfortably at a light DC load or 120 volts. I've tested it. Yeah. If you want a um, high voltage DC to high voltage DC to DC converter, yeah, I think you should use a uh, one with a transformer. I will um, I will also do a project on that one, but for the moment I'll be using this one because it's so simple. The circuit is so simple and it works. And anyway, I don't need that much of a high voltage. I just need like a hundred volts to test my sweet moon power supply and it works fine so these are my medium batteries they are two in series they are chance at around 822 volts yeah they work perfectly well the timer is configured to operate at around yes yeah. can operate at around 70 some 70 to 100 kilohertz, yeah, just about there. The most rated, just a bit warm. The only thing that skips, that hits really much is the resistor. When I get, once I get to those are above 200 volts, it gets well, it gets hot. It gets hot. But the thing is, this thing works. Yeah, you can use it as a good. High voltage substitute for experimentation. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching this video and please subscribe to my channel for more videos and interesting projects. 
I'll see you next time. Cheers.